Hey folks, this is Rob from Learn by the Drop, a place to learn Drupal. And this lesson is part of a special series that I'm doing called Getting the Most Out of Dreamhost web hosting. Now uh, I use Dreamhost to host all of my Drupal sites. It works very well for me and so I want to show you uh, some of the basic steps that you take on Dreamhost to help get your Drupal site up and running. Uh, you can find all the videos in the series at learnbythedrop.com slash Dreamhost and you can save fifty dollars off of a new Dreamhost account uh, if you use the code learn Drupal 2010 that's learn Drupal 2010 and you can save fifty dollars off of a Dreamhost account that uh, starts at about eight dollars and ninety five cents a month for their shared hosting packages and you really get a lot for that uh, eight dollars and ninety five cents a month. Okay, so in this lesson I'm going to show you how to set up a MySQL database on Dreamhost using the Dreamhost web panel. So we're going to head over to the Dreamhost web panel welcome screen and uh, from this screen the first thing you're going to want to do is click databases and once you've uh, gone to that particular screen you'll want to first thing you want to do is add a new host name so in this case uh, I'm gonna choose the host name mysql dot very clickable dot com and th uh, this uh, particular uh, domain is a domain we used in the first video in this series so we're gonna go with that and I'm gonna select create my SQL host name now and then we want to create a database in this case uh, we are going to create uh, start with creating the database name and I'm just going to call it very clickable I'm going to use the host name I just created mysql.veryclickable.com the user I can uh, use a previous user or I can create a new user. In this case, I'm just going to make it easy and just call the user very clickable. I give it a password. Repeat the password. Database comment. And I could just say uh, very clickable Drupal database. And it's important to know that you can actually put multiple databases under the same uh, host name. So we're not locked in here by, cho you know, by choosing this. We can actually expand upon it as well. So the next thing to do is select Add Database Now. Then you'll see uh, some information here. And this is information that you want to uh, copy down so that you have it when you go to install Drupal because you're going to need it. Um, you're going to need uh, this database name, very clickable. You'll need the, uh, the address to it, which is mysql.veryclickable.com. And you'll also need the uh, password as well. So those are just uh, um, a few items of information that you want to uh, that you want to have in order for this uh, database to work for you and uh, basically that's it you've done all that you need to create uh, a database thanks for watching this uh, lesson from my special how to get the most out of Dreamhost series on creating uh, a database with the Dreamhost web panel. Uh, you can find all the videos in this series at learnbythedrop.com slash dreamhost and you can also get a discount of fifty dollars on a shared hosting plan when you use the code learn drupal 2010 that's learn drupal 2010 and that will save you fifty dollars on uh, a shared hosting account that will cost you approximately eight dollars in 95 cents a month. Thanks for watching and best of luck to you in all of your dreams.